Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Debbie and today I have for you this quick and easy It looks like I tried so hard makeup look um, I decided to keep the main focus on the lips. I wanted something red and bold So obviously that's what I went for today and honestly it looks like I tried so 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 hard and I really didn't All I had is a classic wing liner and applied some lashes and oh my god You guys are not gonna believe how simple it is just keep on watching if you want to see how I came up with this look um, This look is also really good for holidays um, and even Thanksgiving, which is on Thursday. So if you guys want to do this look right here, you guys would look so, so amazing. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you guys want to see how I did this look, just keep on watching. All right, so I'm going to start off by just clipping my hair back just like that. Taking just clips and clipping these pieces of hair out of my face. Now I'm going to go in with this Stay Put Brow Color in Dark Brown by Milani. And I'm going to use my Anastasia of Beverly Hills brush and I'm just going to fill in my brows. Once I'm done filling in my brows, I like to just take a concealer and clean up my brows. And today I'm using the, what is this, the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in the shade Neutralizer. And for the brush, I'm using the Wet n Wild Flat Brush. And I'm just going to take a little bit on the back of my hand just like that because honestly, there's always a lot left in that sponge. So all I do is just put some on the back of my hands and then start grabbing it from there. Alright, so now that I filled and cleaned my eyebrows, I'm going to go in back with that concealer and I'm just going to apply some on the lid. And I'm just going to take this Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush and just blend it out. To set that concealer, I'm going to take this shade in Levitation from the Kat Von D palette, which is this one right here. And I'm just going to also take this brush, it's the setting brush from Real Techniques as well. And I'm going to take some of that and just set my eyeshadow. I mean, I'm going to set that concealer. So since I'm going for a simple eye look, all I'm going to do is use this color from the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. It's called Shadow Play. It's the middle shade right here, this one. I'm going to use that and I'm going to take this BH Cosmetics brush and I'm just going to take some of that and literally just swoop it back and forth into the crease. And now for eyeliner, I'm taking this Inglot gel liner in the number 77 and my Sigma brush. And this is in a small angled, it's my E65 brush. And I'm just going to do a quick liner.
Now that I'm done with my liner, I'm going to go back in with that brown color from the Shade and Light palette and just add a little bit more of that brown into the crease. You don't have to do this, I just wanted to add a little bit more. For lashes, today I'm going to go in with our Dell Wispy Lashes and I'm just going to apply those really quickly. Okay, so today I'm going to use this MAC Lash Applicator. I got this um, maybe like a couple months ago and I've been using this to apply my lashes. All you do is literally take the applicator, hold the lash, and then you're just going to go and apply it. Now I'm going to take the other lash and do the exact same thing. And that's it. Literally, this applicator does the work for you. It's freaking amazing, so definitely go pick it up. I think it was less than $20, maybe even $10. I can't remember exactly, but I will link it down below. So for primer today, I'm going to go in with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. Hello. This bottle is like not spraying. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to do that. Use that as my primer today. And for foundation, I'm using the L'Oreal True Match in shade W6. And I'm going to use my damp Real Technique sponge. And for concealer, I'm going in with this Maybelline Age Instant Age Rewind. It's the same one I use to prime my eyelids in the shade Neutralizer. I like a really bright under eye, so if you want to use something else that's closer to your skin tone, go ahead and do that. To contour my face, I am going to take this BH Cosmetics, what is this, the foundation and concealer. 10 color palette and I'm gonna go in with I think I'm gonna go in with this color right here and I'm just going to contour Let's see what this color looks like yeah I'm gonna use this color right here To blend that out, I'm going to go in with this Real Techniques buffing brush.
And to blend out my nose, I'm gonna go back in with that Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush and just blend out that, con that nose contour. Also, you don't want to forget to set the under eye, so I'm just going to go back in with the damp sponge and go over that so there are no creases. And then I'm going to go in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder and just set the under eye. To set the cream contour, I'm going to go in back with my shade and light palette. I'm going to take the middle shade again in Shadow Play, and I'm going to take this um, Kat Von D brush as well and just set it. Don't forget to set the nose just a little bit, whatever's left on the brush. And that's pretty much it. So now that I'm done setting everything, I'm going to go in with the Carly Bible palette and I'm going to go in with this third highlight color right here. And I'm just going to take a little bit of that with my Anastasia of Beverly Hills brush. It comes with the palettes. So I'm going to take a little bit of that and just apply that on the inner corner of my eye and just a little bit on the brow bone. Nothing crazy, just a little bit on the brow bone. And on the lower lash line, I'm gonna go in again. I'm sorry, I keep going back and forth, but I'm gonna go back into the eyes and I'm gonna take that same color from the Kat Von D palette and just apply that on the lower lash line. I'm going to apply a little bit of this L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara on the lower lash line. I mean on the lower lashes. And for blush, I'm going to go in with this little mini Too Faced blush. It's called Love Flush and that's exactly what I want, just a little bit of a flush color, nothing really, really intense. And I'm gonna take this BH Cosmetics blush brush and just apply that. And for lips today, I'm gonna go in with this MAC lip liner. It's in the shade Cherry. And on top of the lip liner, I'm going to use this little mini Giorgio Armani um, lip. I don't even know what this is. I guess it's like a lip stain. I don't even know. It's called, It's the number 400, and it's, I guess, called Lip Maestro. I have no idea, but I'm just going to go and apply that over top. And now I'm going to remove the clips. And to set my face, I'm just going to take the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water again and just set. I think mine's like messed up, but whatever. It's working. 
All right, guys, so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video today. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, of course. And if you want to hit that bell so you get notification of when I upload my next video, that would be awesome. And yeah, that's pretty much it for you guys today. So I hope to see you guys on the next one. Bye.